Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me. This is Melanie from Melanie Tries Recipes and today's recipe is called Chicken in Biscuits. Um, this is a great for um, game day or you know sitting around the house on a Saturday. They're really easy to make. They're kid friendly and they are just absolutely delicious. And I've been making them on and off now for approximately 20 years. Can you believe that? I've been, I've just been making these forever. This is like one of those recipes that everybody in my family is like, oh my gosh, you got to make, you got to make your chicken biscuit things that you make. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice up um some green onions and put them in a bowl. We're going to take a whole block of cream cheese uh, softened, toss that into the bowl, and we're, we're going to use, today we're going to just use a can of chicken drained, um, but you can use ro leftover chicken, rotisserie chicken, um, leftover fried chicken, leftover turkey, you know, you can you can put whatever kind of poultry in that that you want to put in it. And then we're going to put a little bit of salt in there and some garlic powder. And you want to make sure that your cream cheese is really soft. You can see I'm having a little bit of a hard time. Um, my cream cheese wasn't soft enough yet when I started um, making this. Um, and then you're going to stir it together really good and then you know, of course, clean up your mess. Then you're going to grab yourself a baking sheet or a cookie sheet or whatever you want to call that thing that you use to put in the oven. We're going to put some oil on there and then we're going to do a little dance and a little jiggy jig and spread the oil out all over um, so that it doesn't stick. And then we're going to grab some of the small uh, sized canned biscuits and we are going to press these out just like we did the, the popkins recipe. We're going to press these out um, until they're like flattened and like the size of the palm of your hand. And then we are going to put a scoop of this mixture into the biscuit and we are going to fill it, twist it around and make sure that your seam side is down so that it doesn't ooze out when you are baking it but pretty much at least one or two of them the the it'll ooze out anyways it doesn't matter um so it i've been making this for so long i can pretty much judge exactly how much i need to put in there to fill it up nice and i actually i wish i would have put a little bit more filling in these than what I did. I like them filled a little, I like to have them a little stuffed a little more than what I stuffed them. Um, they ended up a little, little doughy, not doughy, but a little bready, a little too bready for me. But anyways, yeah, so with this amount of mixture that I made, I have enough for two small cans of biscuits, which there's 10 biscuits in each of the small cans. So that is 20 filled biscuits that this is going to make. <laughs> I was just talking to my mom and I'm like, see mom, look, look at how beautiful they are. See, I've got them so that they are all perfectly the same size and the same shape. I don't normally do that. <laughs> I just did that for the video. I normally just fill them and slap them on there. No, it doesn't matter what they look like. But, you know, for the video, I wanted them to, to look perfect. Which they did. They do. So, anyways, you're just going to keep on going at it. Filling up each and every one of these uh, biscuits with your mixture. You're going to make sure you want to um, follow the directions on the can of biscuits and preheat your oven 
to the specified temperature. I can't remember. I think it's like 350 or 375. And then they bake for like eight, eight minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. These are really super easy. And this is one of those recipes that's really kid friendly. You could have your, um, 10 year old if they if they like to or are interested in cooking or whatever you can get them in the kitchen to help you fill up these biscuits and perfect i had just enough for all 20 biscuits that was really exciting spot on now that we got it all filled up, we are going to go ahead and put those into the oven. And while we're waiting for those to cook, we are going to whip up some gravy. Um, I forgot. To, I like to buy the um, jars of gravy. It tastes better than these um, powder packets. But what I did was when I drained my chicken, I drained it into a... Um, measuring cup and then use that as part of the fluid for my gravy um, powder mixture thing that I, I needed and then I just you know added water to the specified amount and made gravy and then you just cook the gravy to you know whatever the packet says how long to cook it or how to do it or whatever like I said, I, I would prefer the jars of gravy. Though when I make these chicken and biscuits, that's usually what I use as the jars of gravy. But I forgot to buy some. Anyways, let's. this is what they look like when you pull them out of the oven. And then you put some on your plate. And then you put some gravy on them like that. A little bit of salt. Or not salt, I'm sorry, a little bit of pepper. And then we cut into them. This is what they look like. Oh, I guess I'm not going to show you what they look like. Anyways, I'm sorry I didn't show you what they look like. I'm trying to. Like, come on. It's like really gooey and creamy and cheesy and chickeny and everything like that. So, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and don't forget. I don't know. Just don't forget.